Hello all, I wanted to uh, upload this video here since it's about time that we're uh, removing our plants and harvesting our peppers and things like that. Uh, I wanted to show you this. This is um, Zone 10B and this is a problem that I've been dealing with for many many years and uh, this is a pepper here that I've uh, tried to see if it's got some nematode resistance and uh, I wanted to show you what we've got here. When you pull your plants, you want to take a look at things like this. This is galling on the roots right here. And I uh, hope you can see these. These galls are root, not nematode. And there's various varieties of nematodes in the country. There are some nematodes that survive, um, even during uh, snow. And they'll go through the winter in the northern areas. These are the upper roots, and they're pretty good. Uh, but the idea is, for years and years and years, I fought and thought that there were there was a nutrient deficiency. And uh, no matter what you put in the soil, if you can't get that nutrient up to the leaves, you're not going to bear fruit. So what you want to do is, when you pull your plants, take a look at this and there's not much you can do you have to treat this as if it's an infection in the soil you can't really get rid of uh, the uh, the nematodes you can boil water and pour it in through your soil and completely heat it up you can cook your soil in a uh, barbecue I've done that or you can solarize it but this plant here produced eight very nice uh, sweet peppers but it had problems during the summer maintaining its water. So uh, the idea is while you're pulling the plants up, don't till them in. Uh, take a look at those roots, okay? If you have this, then you will absolutely need to get uh, nematode-resistant varieties. All right.